is how it looks. So let's just see here. We need to place it on the boat here. And it will not go down here because this is too tight up here. So let's have it in around here. I think this is the best solution uh, to have it up here. Hmm. Let's drill some holes in the boat. So just like this and go on the boat like this. This little plastic thing here, it's not, I don't feel it's the strongest in the world. Uh, and also the screws here, they are plastic. I could wish something else. And I think they need to go all the way out here because from the engine and out, it's minimum 25 centimeters. And here we have in around 30. So I think this is the best way to do it. And I will put it in around like this. I think this seems to be the best solution. So let's put it up here. I'll just use this one instead. So I not will drill too deep. And I actually hate what I'm doing right now. not tighten them totally because it is plastic and it can break if I'm going to do that but it seems to be okay I'll just put some of this around it Your goals for cutting a couple. Is that good enough? Hmm. Is that actually good enough? Doesn't go much down. Is this okay? Is this the correct angle? It should be, but it doesn't seem to go much down. Can this push water enough to lift it up? Is this enough? Let's put this one on also. Should be in the middle here. Let's do enough for that. Let's put this one on. Yesterday I installed them and they are on the boat right now. It's actually looking pretty good. When I take here, it's 
working what i did was actually putting this one in because if i need to do it i can take this one out this one take it up actually put this one in like this and then i have to staple it and when you look from the side it will not be there much if this will do the trick i do not know i don't like that i don't can get it more up like this what i also wanted to do is actually to put one in here so i can take it out here and actually take it a lot up so i can test without it no it's much better to swap them around i put it in here because then you can pull this out take this up and now it's disabled so now i can test without it and also the first you need to do is actually start in the middle and i can do that just by doing oops this now it's in the middle and it's working there then i can pull it out very easy and very quickly then i can swap it around for the other holes just to see how it will perform like that perfect good solution hello now we are back on the sea again and uh, what we're testing today is uh, without trim tabs and with trim tabs so we have them installed right now but flop them up in off position it is a little bit windy so uh, i'm not sure that i can uh, record when i'm doing this but i will do my best um, it's nice i really love it out here today it's <laughs> Got myself a new thing. This one, it can actually measure the speed. It's running uh, for GPS and it was cheap and it's a China thing. I will put it on the floor because I don't have it uh, put on my boat yet. Sorry for the camera angle. Uh, let's see if we can get it to plan. I'm sailing up against the wind. Without the trim on the engine, it plans so badly with the 460 horsepower. It, when I had the wings on it, it was actually planning pretty fast. It was okay. I don't have them on anymore. I took them off. Up against the wind here, the top speed was in around 47 kilometers per hour when I got it to plan. Uh, so that was actually pretty nice almost 25 uh, knots if you're calculating knots my garmin does and i have also have the other thing there so the top speed up against the wind was actually so nice now i will sail with the wind and see what the top speed is there it does not come to plan by itself. It need actually that I'm moving all my weight in the front of the boat. So now I will take the trim flaps, put them down and see how it will perform. And I hope that it will be better than the flaps on the engine. So let's uh, have a look. Uh, I will put them on now. Okay, trim flaps installed. Let's start off.
it as good as they say? Yeah, I think it actually performed a lot. The um, I can still feel that it's going a little up when it needs to plant, but that's okay. It, it is coming down and plant by itself without me moving in the boat. So that is a tough thing. It is almost as fast as with the normal trim flap. So I'm not totally impressed there, but where I'm impressed is actually it's going up and it's feeling more stable on the waves. So that is a very good thing. So I will not swap them out for the other ones. Um, oh, I think it's worth to spend uh, a little bit more money on, on the trim flaps here. Uh, I only tested them in one position. I also need to test a little bit with the engine in another position. Right now it's in position two, a little bit out. Uh, I don't think it's the right uh, place to be. Maybe I need to put it uh, all in, but I will not do that uh, because when I need to pull the, uh, the thing out, I will definitely drop it in the water. It cost a few hundred crowns, not, not uh, dollars. So what did I pay for those? Yes, I paid in around 1300 crowns and if you want to calculate that to euros or, or, or US dollars it is around 200 uh, dollars or euros it's almost the same uh, is that cheap or is it expensive I think it's a good price so uh, compared to what a, a normal trim flaps with, uh, with hydraulics and everything cost that's so expensive um, now I will just enjoy being on the sea uh, almost for the last time this year because it is September now and it is okay warm right now but like this it's winter. I just flossed and washed the engine, always floss it so you don't have salt water in it. Also give it a good spray because uh, all the salt water actually sitting on it and being like small crystals and all the crystals they are dragging moist to the engine and that's why it's actually rusting a lot when you are not uh, flushing the engine okay so today's testing of the uh, trim flaps what do i think was it a life game changer um, no it was good do not Think that I'm saying they are not good because they are doing the job as I should. They are doing the same job as the things that goes on here. But one thing I will say, the boat is more stable. So that is good. Um, top speed is the same. So, um, so that's good. Uh, if it's good for fuel economy, I do not know. I do not want to test it. Uh, I definitely want to make a video about this one. How far can I go and how long time can I go with uh, one liter of gasoline and also in top speed and also in cruising, cruising speed. And I think the best cruising speed for this boat is around 30 kilometers an hour. That is very nice speed to go with and uh, the engine is not that uh, noisy when I'm going like that. So for now, I will say testing done, everything is good. So have fun, sail safe and have a good day.